Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Mr. PC23 here to bring you a few benchmarks on the AMD FX8120 that I just got for Christmas. Um, I know a lot of people have been dumping on it because they're trying to compare it to the uh, i5 2500K and the 2600K. It's From what I've experienced so far, it's not a bad chip. Yes, it does not live up to the hype that it, it was marketed as, as the Intel killer, which is total bullshit. I mean, it's, it's definitely not. But it's not a bad chip. Everyone's just saying it's crap. It's not. But if you have a uh, six core, one of the 1100Ts, don't bother upgrading. This is an upgrade from like a 955 Black Edition or a 965. It, you will feel the performance from that. All right, on to the benchmarks. In Cinebench, at the default clock of 3.1 gigahertz, I got 4.96 points. At 3.5 gigahertz, I got 5.8. 4.4 points. At 3.7 gigahertz, I got 5.57 points. At 4.2 gigahertz, I got 5.83 points. At 4.3 gigahertz, I got 5.86 points. So, from the way it looks so far, it sort of plateaus when you get higher up in the uh, clock range. Like 4.2 to 4.3, it was very marginal. Granted, it's only a 100 megahertz overclock, but still, it's only 0 0.03 points on that Cinebench. But, you know, why not run it at 4.3 gigahertz if it's stable? Okay, so that's enough of Cinebench. Well, the reason I didn't do like 3.2, 3.3, 3.4 is because it's obviously going to be marginal. So that's why I overclocked to 3.5 gigahertz right off the bat. Um, on to a benchmark that I don't know if a lot of people use, it's just sort of something I always do, is Geekbench. I didn't do a default Geekbench for this because I already have it overclocked, I don't want to have to restart and do all that crap. But at 4.3 GHz, I got 9,584 points, or whatever their score is measured in, it doesn't really have a, uh, oh I don't remember the name for it, whatever. Um, versus a 4.2 gigahertz overclock on a 955 Black Edition, which got 7,252 points, which that's over a 2,000 point difference, which which is pretty damn good. Not gonna lie, that's that's pretty good. And that's the only Geekbench score I did because I don't know a lot of I feel like a lot of people don't use that, so they don't really care. And onto another one that even less people use is Wycruncher. It's a uh, constant calculator. Calculator. It calculates the constant anyways. Um, I did 1 billion digits of pi because I have enough RAM in there to not use swap space, so that's not a factor in this. At the default, d uh, excuse me, default 3.1 gigahertz on the uh, 8120 um, versus the 4 gigahertz on the 955 Black Edition, they were within 5 seconds of each other in the compute and compile time. So that's about exactly the same performance, really. I mean, that's, that's marginal. It could have been something going on in the background. I quit out of everything else, so, I mean, it could have been a background process. I don't know. But when I overclocked the uh, 8120 to 4.3 gigahertz versus the 4 gigahertz on the 955 Black Edition, it was about 7% faster. Do note that this is much more significant when doing large computations, because, I mean, I've done up to 50 billion using swap space, and trust me, if you have enough hard drives, or if you've got enough room on your SSD, and you can max out the uh, the transfer rate, you need about 200 megabytes a second for it to uh, just load on the processor. It makes a huge difference. All right, so this isn't really a benchmark, but just a note: I got about 50% better performance when running Minecraft. All the settings maxed out, obviously, and a server with four people connected to it. I know that's not that huge of a deal, but the server was barely taking any CPU power, as opposed to when I was running a server and Minecraft on the same settings, I was getting a decent amount of server lag, because you could see, I was using about, uh, probably about 60 to 80 percent of the CPU power, and on this I was using, oh I don't know, maybe 30 to 40, and that's with both of them running, so I mean, it's, it's pretty damn good. All right, on to the max overclock on the default voltage that I got for my chip. Keep in mind that every chip is different. Not a single one is going to have the exact same settings. Um, the default V-Core, which is 1.15 volts, 
I got 4.1 gigahertz on all eight cores. I'm not turning any cores off, that's all eight on the default voltage. All I had to change was the multiplier. I didn't touch the front side bus, I didn't change anything else. Just up the uh, multiplier until I got 4.1. When I hit 4.2, it booted and there was instability. It crashed eventually. All right, so the max overclock, uh, that was with an H80 by the way. I'm running an H80. Max overclock on an H80 and push pull lowest fan setting so it's you can't even hear it it's nice it's 4.3 gigahertz on 1.275 volts I, that's pretty damn good i'm not gonna lie i was expecting less i guess i thought i was only gonna get like four since 3.1 gigahertz is the, the default this is a uh, 1.2 gigahertz overclock that's pretty good that's especially for an AMD processor everyone's been dumping on this no it's doing it, it runs pretty well and the min temp at idle was about room temp, maybe one or two degrees higher, depending on if you were surfing the internet or not. And the max was 60 Celsius. My room sort of warmed up a bit. But I don't know. That might have just been the uh, temp monitoring program, core temp. It likes to have variations, but it was pretty set on 60 Celsius. I didn't see it go any higher. Um, so yeah, if I bumped up the fans a bit, I'm sure I could get this to 4.5 pretty easily. But it's not worth it. It's at 4.2, or 4.3 already. It's blasting everything away. One more thing I forgot to mention in this video is I'm sort of confused. In CPU-Z it says AMD FX-8130P, which uh, in the leaked stuff, the leaked graphs and whatnot, when they were supposed to release, they were supposed to release this instead of the 8120, which I'm sort of confused about because the name in CPU-Z is 8130p which is supposed to come clocked at 3.6 gigahertz which might explain how high I could get when uh, I did the overclocking on just the the default voltage I'm not sure maybe they were gonna do the 8130p and then they decided no this isn't gonna work we don't have enough chips so we're gonna bin it as an 8120 and release that instead at a lower clock speed I'm sort of confused at the fact that it says ES, which is which stands for engineering sample. Um, I don't know. Any clarification on this would be very nice. I'm I'm sort of confused. I'm not complaining. I'm just rather confused. So if anyone has any info on this, uh, please do tell. Uh, thank you very much for watching my overview, review, comments, and. I don't know, just my opinion on the 8120. Oh, and some benchmarks. You know, those aren't that important, though. On the AMD FX 8120, thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.